Good day, everyone. My name is Spoon, and welcome back to Wolfenstein Episode 9. We return to this machine of destruction, and I cannot wait to destroy everything. I think that was rockets, and this is chain gun. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. Let's do this. Woo! Oh, shit. I have a limit of rockets. I don't know that. Doesn't matter. The chain gun is doing its part. How's it going, tower? <laughs> I knew it. That little robot couldn't do anything against us. Get out of here. Oh, those guys are armored. Wow. They were armored to the bone. Boom! Open the gate. No? Okay. Ah, that way. Thanks for opening the gate. Oh, I can reload my rockets. Very smart. Okay. So, are you going off, or am I going off? E? Ah, okay. I was about to say, I don't want to end this yet. I'm having too much fun. Hey, I'm opening the gates, Mr. Blaskovich! Okay, then. I'm just having fun. Destroying stuff. Ah, we're getting everyone out. Something tells me we're about to have a lot of problems. I also have rockets, bitches. You guys good yet? Get the fuck out of here. So now what? You guys good? Everyone is on board. Come quickly, ship ship. We must leave now. Aw, I was having so much fun. Oh well. All fun must end, I guess. Let's grab all the things I've opened up. <laughs> Did I do this? I'm sorry. Oh, wait, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stop crying. I'm coming. God damn it. Let me have some fun, damn it. Love this game. This game is amazing. Something tells me I should have stayed on that thing. No one leaves my cat. But 
I might have underestimated the usefulness of your ape-like physique, Mr. Monstrovich. That you should. Tell me. <sighs> what is it? Das Yichud is an ancient, mystical society. For millennia, we have operated with utmost secrecy up until right now. What do you do? Do you pray? Do no, no, Mama. We don't pray. We invent things, Mama. The technology developed by Das Yichud is centuries ahead of anything you've ever seen or imagined, and highly dangerous in the wrong hands. The Nazis found our safety. They stole our secrets. They used them to win the war. Everything they have accomplished, everything was built upon our knowledge. But it wasn't our only safekeeper. We have hundreds of them hidden in the secret places of the world. Hundreds, some small and tentative like the ones the Nazis found, others. Great halls of knowledge stacked high, magnificent inventions, things that to you will seem like magic. Now, I can open for you the gates to such a place. Getting there will be a challenge. What will it take? Well, the safekeepers hidden deep below the Atlantic Ocean. Oh. We will need a U-boat capable of great depths. That's all. Stealing a goddamn Nazi U-boat? This is what you're proposing. Are you off your head, man? I know how to get a U-boat. But for my plan to work, I need this thing operational. Can you do it? I'm an Amadas Yichud engineer. I can do this in my sleep. Good. We would need some additional features on it, too. I will prepare a specification for you. Blaskovich, help him out, sir, if you'd be so kind. Okay, then. Hmm? Oh. oh, say you're good, say you're good. I was wondering what oh, this thing Mr. is. Mr. Blaskovich, I will need some welding equipment, please. Okay, you need welding equipment. Yes. I'm trying to figure out what exactly you were doing in this organization of yours. Was it some kind of supernatural engineering? That's we don't believe in things supernatural, Mama. We believe in God. Yeah, chit, 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 chit. The Das Yichud is, is, is a, it's a philosophy. It is a way of understanding God through knowledge. It is based on pure reason, pure rational thought, not supernatural bobkis. <laughs> <laughs> so everything you have created, what were you planning on using all that stuff for? No, you don't understand, Mama. It is, well, there was never any purpose or intent of use beyond the act of creation. We create to commune with God. Do you see that? You've lost me. It's like mathematical equations. <laughs> go on, go on, Madele. And each solved equation brings you closer to God. Mm. But never intended to be used. No, the, the act of creation itself is the intended use. What the zoi, Madele? Is he has something cooking in that Chinese cookhouse? Uh, do you appreciate the, 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 the distinction? Mamala, this safe keep I'm about to reveal to you is not a treasure chamber. It is a deep geological repository uh, protecting some of our most dangerous creations for the sake of the outside world. The purpose already served. Do you see that? Whatever helps the cause. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Alrighty then. So, you need a welder. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh shit, you survived? Well, son of a bitch, I thought you were dead. Well done, surviving. Well done, my friend. How's it going? Alright, you both are doing good. Alright, you need a welder. Let's see where we can find a welder. Someone's been studying up on helicopters. I see. Before we go study for... Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, it's just... My wedding ring, it's gone. I'm always so clumsy. I lost it when we got back. It's not worth much, but it's all I have left of him. My dear Sebastian. Oh. Wedding ring is hard because that's really, really small. Damn, I don't think I can fight. Oh, hello. <laughs> you okay? That's fine. Really? Shh, shh, it's him. 
Okay then. Interesting conversation you guys had. Fergus, you need something? What do you want, Blazkowicz? Looking for the welder. You seen it? No, I don't think so. No, wait a minute. No, you're right. You're right. I was meaning to sort out the railing over by the secret fountain entrance. The fucking thing fell out of my hand into the water. I'm a bit busy at the moment, but you want the welder, you go right on ahead and start swimming. The door to the secret fountain entrance is in the main room behind the table. Go over there and you should find the welder somewhere down in the water somewhere. Fantastic. Everyone's pissed at me for some reason. Captain Blaskovich. Thank you. Aw. Thank you for leading me back to my wife. You're welcome. I had lost her. I had lost so many. You're welcome, Milo. Oh, I get a cutscene when I. What are you doing here, psychopath? Why aren't you asleep? I try not to sleep. No telling if I'll ever wake up. Let me ask you something. He will not understand. Where do you go when you lose consciousness? Why even bother? What? Surprise, surprise. You have a brain. The brain is a biological computational device running an electrochemical process. Your consciousness is an emergent property of said process. Blank face like that of a baby. In other words, you are your electrochemical process. Fundamentally, you have the experience of a continuous existence. You are you at this point in time, the same you as you were in the past. And you have a sensation of riding along this continuum of being you into the future. Do you follow me? Doesn't look like it. Continuing. On occasion, the brain may be subjected to trauma. Temporarily discontinuing what the, the fuck is process. your problem, honestly? Fox are being knocked out. As this occurs, the brain is no longer running its electrochemical consciousness generating process. Hence, consciousness is lost. You lose consciousness. Pay attention now. At this point in time, your consciousness, all that is you, your continuum of being you, has ceased to exist in the physical world. Now, moments later, the electrochemical process may start up again, allowing consciousness to emerge out of the information stored in the brain. But I wonder, where are you in the meantime? Oh, so stupid. Must we not assume that at the point when consciousness is lost, the person dies? If a new consciousness appears or not in the same brain is entirely inconsequential. You're a psychopath, but you are the pretty smart. You know your stuff. Person. Because it emerges from the same brain, it has access to all the memories and cognitive structures as a dead consciousness. So it thinks it is the same person, but in actuality, it is just an imposter. Inheriting the body and brain from the previous, now dead inhabitant. Yes, like talking to a child. Uh. What about the soul? Oh, soul. I knew he was stupid. There's no such thing as a soul. We are machines of biology, nothing more, nothing less. Idiot! The soul is simply a pointless concept dreamt up by priests and fairy tale men. You're an anomaly, you. An outlier, useless. A laughing anus is what you are. I don't know. Well, you, I do not know. Are you here to help me? You seem beyond help. What are you working on? Gathering data, Nazi activity, behavioral patterns, hours, theirs, doing the math, developing predictions. Where are they allocating resources? Where will they strike next? And after that, what are the larger trends triggering their actions? Figure out what choices they will make before they make them. You talk as if the future is inevitable, as if all our choices have already been made. <laughs> You think there is such a thing as free will? <laughs> you know so little of the world. You want to be the captain of your fate, do you? This fight, you will lose. You cannot go to war against physics. My actions are my own. I know that much. <laughs> All phenomena in the physical world follow the simple rule of cause and effect. Your brain is no exception to the rule. Know the causes, you can predict the effects. The same is true for everything. Uh, so what's with the arsenal? Preparing for the end. I know where my road leads, and I intend to take as many Nazis with me as I can muster. You have any experience with firearms? Will you teach me? Interesting.
So she has a good heart at the end. Okay. All I wanted is to get extra health and then I get a fucking story. Well, thank you game. Thank you very much. Health upgrade. 150 health. Excellent. Very nice. So now I think I need to go to the main entrance, the main uh, table and uh, talk to that one guy because I need to go outside. Sorry, pal. Don't mean to, you know, derail your train of thought, but uh, I need to get through that door. Uh, please. What I think about, I'd rather not think about. <laughs> that bad, huh? Jay would think that when Jay seen what I have, your mind would break like an egg. How come it has not? Or well, maybe it has begun already and I just don't know it. <laughs> World changer. No matter who you are or what you're made of. Thing is, you and me, we just gotta ride the whirlwind. Make it through to the other side. And kill all the Nazis? <laughs> and kill all the Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> in celebration for near that time come. You're on. Awesome. I like how that door has two guns to defend. Four guns. <laughs> Correction, four guns. So, she was talking about a wedding ring. But, it's hard to see... If it's not gonna be glowing or shining or something similar. And if it fell in the water... Oh, I'm so sorry, lady. That's gonna be impossible. Almost. It's possible, I guess, but... Still very hard. I'm gonna try and find for a wedding... Wedding ring... Wedding ring? Either way! Holy shit. Uh, is it in the water? Perhaps. I know I need to go here, so I'll just cut this open. Okay, thank you. So that is the way. But, wedding ring. It's not down here. Maybe in the water. Oh, shit. Uh, lady? If your wedding ring fell through that, I cannot grab it. Shit, there's an invisible wall. Um. Anything here? Now that I'm seeing. What about here? No wedding ring here, right? Nope. Damn it. Health. Oxygen. There we go. Alright, back down. Wedding ring? No, that wasn't it. Damn. Wait. What? What? Why is that there? Huh? Excuse me? Pardon me? What's going on? Wait a minute. Do I need to go that way? Hold on a second. Let me use a staircase. Let me go down there. Is the is this important? What the hell? A oh, wedding ring. Where are you? I like how I'm doing all this for a woman who is sad, but I have a good heart, so I want to try and help her. Yep, even the Germans are living like animals. Because dictatorship is always ugly. Because one is living like a king. And so of his friends, and the rest can go die in hell. I wonder what Hitler is doing right now in this timeline, in this game. Probably laughing, drinking wine of his success. Drinking like a madman. So, no wedding ring here. That sucks. Man, I really want to give her the ring, but if I cannot find it... I'll be sad. I would be really sad. Hiya! Wedding ring. Oh, damn it. Well, let's focus on moving on, I guess. I see I need to shoot that thing. So, let me go ahead and cut it. No, I need to cut it. Thank you. Oh, so I do need to shoot it. Whee! Bonk. Bonk. Yay! No ring here. I hope I'm going to find it. Mm -hmm. 
Interesting. Oh, reflex! How cool is that? That is really cool. I really like that. Interesting. Oh, I remember a room like this. I have bad memories of it. Why can't I cut them all off? That's weird. Should I? <laughs> Hell, that's why we're here, I guess. Okay, battery chargers? All of them? Interesting. Oh wait, are those the boxes for those big monsters? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's not a ring here by chance, is there, guys? No, no ring. Damn it! I really want to make that woman happy. I knew it. Two of them? That's not fair. Well. I just need to wait until he comes over here. And I go to that last one to recharge. See ya. I don't think I need that, so just drop it. Drop it. Drop it! Thank you very much. And that's it. Only those big monsters. Yep. No! Drop it! <laughs> I don't want you to pick that up. Okay. Actually, you never know when you need big weapons in combat. Okay then, that's shut down. Hello? What's going on here? What the hell? Oh, wait, I need to cut it? Okay. Do I, am I gonna drop it again? Yeah, I am, of course. Duh. La da dee da da da! Shubuski. Let's get this. Perfect. There we go. Pick that one up again. You never know when we need it. And, uh, oh, we need it again. Wait. Okay, fine, whatever. Guess it's my multi tool from now on. So that one open now? Okay. Curious. Yep, it sure did. Fair enough. Wedding ring! <laughs> oh, I cannot find it, can I? Damn it. That sucks. Google, YouTube, where is the wedding ring? I must find it. Uh, I don't know why I'm being a psychopath about it. Wait a minute. This room seems familiar. All that work for a lousy welder. Next time you go get it, Fergus. 
Damn it all, I did I still didn't find a wedding. Oh fuck me! <laughs> Mr. Blaskovich, if you're not gonna find for me some welding equipment, I will never finish repairing this thing. I have the tool you need. Come on. Oh, Shimshin, Yeah, Mr. Oh, Shimshin, calm actually, the fuck down. Would you uh, deliver this note to Anya? She will need the frequency of the transponder to track the thing. Like I'm the goddamn errand boy. She's right there, you idiot. Whatever. William. <laughs> Do you have a moment? What the hell, guys? Listen to my voice, Blaskovich. There you are now, inside sewage tunnels. The intestinal tracts of the city. And deeper below, the Berlin catacombs. A vast complex. The most secure site in all Berlin. The central munition stockpile of the Nazi regime. The things we could do with those weapons. Riot. We revolt. This access route is waterlocked. Impenetrable to outsiders. There's only one way to breach across the perimeter. It's a tunnel glider. The Nazis use them for maintenance down there. We've been trying for years to bring it up to working order. It's a glider for water. This is the first phase of the plan to gain access to sets underwater safe keep. Use the tunnel glider to find a way into the weapons depot in the Berlin catacombs. Anya has agreed to track your position over the transponder and provide tactical support. Thank you. Can you hear me? You have to make your way all the way through the sewer tunnels and into the Berlin catacombs. I'll try to guide you through. Alrighty then. And we will do that in the next video. I didn't find that goddamn ring, but I'll... If I have the chance, I'll try it next time because I want to make ha ha people happy because she was very depressed, more other people are depressed, and some people are not liking me right now, some people are liking me. At least Takya, Tanya, whatever her name is, is starting to like us now because she uh, uh, accepted us the way we are of her intelligence, how she thinks. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video as much as I did, and as always, I'll see you next video. Have fun, joy, and good talk. Thank you.